Hey Velomobile fans! We're super lucky to live at a time when there are a lot of really great Velomobile options on the market. Now with the addition of the Bilk for more in the Urban, there's three different versions just of the Bilk. Maybe you've been thinking about getting a Velomobile and you've been intrigued by the Bilk, but you're not sure which one of the three options is right for you. In that case, this is the video for you. As premium models, the MK1 and Urban have full carbon shell, carbon subframe, and carbon swing arm. The budget-friendly for more is fiberglass with aluminum subframe and swing arm. Carbon, of course, is lighter and stiffer, but more expensive than fiberglass. The aluminum parts in the for more can also be easier to find someone to repair in the event of damage. The MK1 and Urban weigh in at a roughly 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, and the 4 more is a remarkably light 65 pounds or 30 kilograms. The Bilk MK1 and Urban come in a variety of paint options, whereas the 4 more is vinyl wrapped with four color options for the bottom, white, red, green, or blue. Vinyl is easier to DIY if damaged, but it doesn't last as long as paint. The MK1 generally comes with a 700C or 622 rear wheel. It can accommodate up to a 35mm wide tire, however there may be some rubbing during hard cornering. The 4 more and Urban typically come with a 584 or 650B rear wheel, which is a little bit more stiff than the 700C, but has less tire options. However, the 4 more and Urban can accommodate up to a f at least 42mm rear tire. All of them come with a 406 or 20 inch front wheel. The MK1, thanks to the generous wheel wells, can accommodate up to a 40mm wide tire whereas the 4 more and Urban max out around 35 millimeters. The MK1 and Urban come with a variety of gearing options with 2x11 or 1x12 speed systems, and you can also get the Schlumpf drive. The 4 more has more limited options with either a single speed 11 speed system with a 53, 56, or 60 big ring, or the option for an extra cost of adding a small ring with a 42 or 33. The rear cassette has only two options, 1132, and for an additional charge you can switch that to an 1140. The Buk MK1 is available with both tiller and tank steering. At this time, the Urban and 4 more are only available with tiller. The MK1 and Urban have a variety of electrical options with blinkers, horn, brake lights, running lights, a couple of different types of headlights. The 4 more is a more basic lighting module in the hotspot solely for safety with blinkers, running lights, horn. All three books offer generous storage along the rear wheel well and under and beside the seat. The MK1 and Urban also offer the option to add front storage bins. The 4 more seat system opens up some additional storage underneath the seat. All have a storage tray over the swing arm and all have the option to add a reinforcement for a trailer hitch to haul things. The Urban and the MK1 use the same seat system with foam pads to adjust the angle of recline of the seat back. The 4 more uses straps. The strap system, while not quite as stable as the pads, does open up quite a bit of additional storage space under the seat. All three books have an air vent in the nose which routes the air through the boom. The MK1 and Urban have a 50mm boom which allows more airflow than the 40mm boom in the 4 more. All three Bilks use the same hoods outfitted with Nacodux and the option to add a wiper blade and anti-fog lens insert. All three have the same option for the combi foam lid. All three Bilks have convenient access hatches but the Urban and 4 more hatches are larger. The front idler in the Urban and 4 more is also single sided making it easier to remove and service. The open front wheel wells also make servicing the brakes a bit quicker and easier. In addition, the Urban and 4 more also have a removable service hatch under the steering rods to give quick and easy access to replacement. The Bilk has a generous opening cut under the steering rods for access that's covered by a reflective sticker. The Bilk MK1 is the most efficient model most riders will fit in. The Urban is similarly efficient into the mid-20 mile per hour range where the open wheel wells start to impact performance. The 4 more is similar to the Urban in performance but will accelerate and climb a little bit more slowly due to the additional weight and being slightly less stiff. Even so, the 4 more is a remarkably performing Velomobile. The MK1 has excellent cornering, especially with the sport suspension. The wider track width of the Urban and the 4 more 
takes that another step further and offers even better cornering. The MK1's turning circle is roughly 11 to 12 meters, whereas the Urban and the 4 more with the open wheel wells has 9 to 10 meter turning circle. Keep in mind the turning circle can change a lot depending on the tire width. The base price of the MK1 and Urban starts at just under 8,500 euros as of July 1, 2024. The 4 more is a real bargain at under 6,000 euros base price. The Buk MK1 is the ultimate performance machine and the fastest velomobile most riders will fit in. It's light, stiff, efficient, handles well especially in wind, offers good cargo capacity and is a joy to ride and easily adjustable for multiple riders. The various adjustment options such as sport versus comfort suspension makes it possible to configure the MK1 for almost any riding scenario. The MK1 is suitable for riders wanting to go fast, do long distance touring, commute and run errands with the most efficient velomobile possible, reduce their car usage, pursue records, and just ride for exercise and pleasure. It's one of the most versatile velomobiles available. The Bilk Urban offers many of the same performance benefits and options of the MK1, but with easier maintenance access, smaller turning circle, more ground clearance, and slightly better cornering due to the wider track width. The trade-off is somewhat lower efficiency at higher speeds due to the open wheel walls. The Urban is a good choice for urban environments with tight turns, multi-use path riding, commuting, running errands, easy maintenance, touring, especially on bike trails, and riding for pleasure. It's not intended to be the fastest velomobile on the market, but rather one that is highly maneuverable while still offering good drivetrain stiffness and efficiency, excellent cornering and stability in wind. It's also a good choice for riders needing more space at the thighs and feet. While there have been multiple attempts at entering the budget velomobile market, none have really caught on yet. The goal of the Formor is 90% of the fun at 60% of the price. The Formor is an aerodynamically efficient design under 65 pounds that while not as stiff as the high-end carbon versions, is still stiff enough for enjoyable riding. The Formore is a good option for those looking for their first velomobile, the stability of three wheels, weather protection, increased visibility and crash safety in traffic, cargo capacity, good handling in wind and at higher speeds, and driving pleasure. The Formore is not intended as the ultimate performance machine, but rather a velomobile that's financially accessible, fun to drive, and easy to maintain. It's also suitable as a second velomobile for commuting and running errands or as an all-weather and more visible alternative to a recumbent trike. All in all, the 4 more has the best price per pound and mile of any velomobile on the market. As always, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.